Hey guys, and welcome to ep episode 13 of Mighty the Blowing Friends with Magic, season 8, The Mean Shits. Hmm. The Mean Shits. Well, I know I wasn't the first to have evil doppelgangers of the Mean Shits. But. Did this episode actually tie in with a, the Tomet? Because there was one Tomet storyline, well, you know, the, the Tomets had a parallel universe where everybody was the exact opposites. Team Zombo and the, and the first reader is pure evil, but in the opposite dimension, he's, you know, good. And there were evil counterparts to the main shit. So, it's possible this to be a crossover of that comet? Or it just might be unrelated somehow. I don't know. But the Thomas is reduced evil counterparts to the main shit. This episode is called the main shit. Meaning either the main shit is going to be mean to each other. Or... Well, they have doppelgangers. I think with the data because I... Okay. First of all, people, since you're the thumbnails for the level died. But the thumbnails did not spoil me on this, really. Nope. I got spoiled on the beer reveal on this episode due to the stupid advertisement on TV. I had to officially banned myself from ever viewing the channel because of that spoiler. And if this is the episode where that spoiler takes place, I will mention it. But... <sighs> Anyways, enough of that. You see what this episode is about. Because even if I know this twist, even though I know what's gonna happen, I don't really know how it's going to happen. And that's the tea part. You, you know what happens, but you don't know how. That's what he did to you. So, let me set up, and let's begin the episode. Also, th don't read the Wikipedia either. After that big eight, it's not safe. <sighs> Oh, I've been planning this retreat for weeks and we're already ten minutes behind. Where is that photographer? No, 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 no. I'm so sorry! Can you forgive me? I don't expect you to forgive me. Forgive me. Uh, hey. Of course. I'll help you set up your kiss, Twilight. That's for you, Twisters. The Canada Law Historical Society is thrilled to document the friendship with That's Twisters. How do I know? I'm a Twisters on television! <laughs> Seriously. Hey, the advertisement is the season 8 full moon TV. So it's all turning into Christmas. Why would they spoil something that huge? Oh, I'm in the middle of the eye. You idiot! Now I have everything I need. <laughs> God, I wish they did not spoil that themselves. Uh, God, I wish they didn't spoil that on TV. So, yes. I'm happy she's back, but you idiot! Starlight ruined your previous plan! You're not gonna make an evil clone of her? Whatever you're about to do to the main series, you're not gonna do to her? The one who beat you? Seriously? Who turned your empire against you? You're not gonna do anything to her? Just a means not her? Okay, this is she what her plan is. Thank you, 
Applejack. My spell can create a copy of any pony I desire. All I need is an image and a piece of the pony. Oh, and this. Why coffee's rarity? Because Princess Twilight and her friends control the elements of harmony, the most powerful weapon in all Equestria. Oh. Which means you will be able to use them too. And really? Me. Together we will destroy Twilight Sparkle and her meddlesome friends. Okay, so that's a plan. I haven't forgotten Starlight Glimmer. She stole my hive, turned my subjects against me. So I'll take her friends away while she watches, and then I'll destroy her. Make an evil plan of horror. With the elements under my control, I'll build a new hive of earth ponies, unicorns, and pegasi, and I will rule as queen once again. Well, this beauty, you will always be queen. But seriously. You should have did this with Starlight. But I kinda understand her plan. Oh, the, the distorted. They're using the distorted to this. Okay, so. Okay, so let's do this plan. To actually use the elements. Huh. Okay, so that is clever. But would it would it work? I mean, we saw it happen this Sunday when she wore the crown, and the elements are taking away. Well, I guess two stories doesn't know what happened to the elements, so she probably has no idea that they're in the free of harmony. Did y'all know this is Starlight's first time camping? Never really felt the need to you don't camping out in nature, home I hope you told the C and C Because she's way you free when you should just find out that you went camping without them the full Apple family I don't want to see what they I want to see what they do oh God tell for us at the end right next to the elements that brought us all together in the first place the you are gonna lead them to the elements aren't you to your queen. We must retrieve the elements of harmony. Hunting down some lame elements? This is the worst day ever. No, now it's the worst day ever. <laughs> Those elements are mine. I won't break this rock. Oh, and that tree. They are oh, distorted. Right here under my hat. I'll let you see. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this is awesome. Why didn't you just attack them? Excuse me. You were close enough to pull hairs from their manes. Why not just take your revenge then? They've defeated my army. I know better than to strike alone. I need friends. Servants. And the power of the elements. Right. So we never really that, We never really did see this kind of fire personality. Well, she was kind of this flesh. But... I learned they were hidden somewhere <laughs> in this forest. Yeah, well, it is a big forest. <laughs> oh, okay, so just to and turn them uh, your opposite by touching them. Just to free the sad opposites was at the same exact way from freeze. Anti flares. You have. No, you no, you've been camping twice. Oh. Uh. Maybe you want to help? Oh no! You and your sister fell out of your nest and got separated. That's terrible. Here. I'm sure you. That's treacherous. That has to be treacherous. Needs to be treacherous. Oh, she's going to hit you in the face with that! Good point! Last one to the tree of harmony is a 
If only I could win that way. Okay, that's good. That's We search the forest, the quicker we find the elements. I know where the elements are. This, uh, yeah, the, the wind on you is green for some reason. You tried to fly out of the nest, you fell and got lost. <laughs> Hope you like walking. <laughs> Come get me when I should care. And look pretty much upside down. Where are the others? Uh, a, uh, a bugbear in plaid socks flew down and, uh, and grabbed him, then disappeared. Uh, crazy Please crazy. tell me he said stay. Turn around. We're going back. No, keep searching. I'll find the others. We can accomplish more if we split our resources. Very well. You have my permission. Permission? You need us way more than we need you, your majesty. The others are fools, but with me to lead them, there's no reason we can't find the elements and keep the power for ourselves. Please tell me they did today. Fluttershy and Rainbow Dash. Well, aren't they back there? They are. Sure, unless they're already at the Tree of Harmony. What is the Tree of Harmony? Oh, this is one of your activities, right? You know, technically, they, the elements shouldn't be in the free anymore, what but the they could have put them back off ring. Where is it? It's at the bottom of the stairs in the ravine by the castle of the two sisters. <laughs> A double boom. How do you know? You've seen it? Mm-hmm. Honestly, Twilight, these questions are super easy. Right where you belong. Oh dear, this isn't where I belong. Oh, Rainbow Dash, I'm so glad you're here. I was lost. Bummer! Later. What just happened? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, fantastic. First Pinky Race is ahead of us, and now Fluttershy is lost somewhere behind us. My retreat is off to a great start. Like Another flinch that we fleet. Like we'll split up and search for her. We can all be back at the tree. Starlight, take the navigation gear we'll and... Go with Rarity? Great! Rainbow Dash, you can go with Applejack. <laughs> I'll find Pinky Pie. Bored. 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 This is ridiculous. Where are my other minions? Probably plotting to steal my things. <sighs> They're at a secret party up in that there tree. Uh, run by a squirrel named, uh, Jerome. But, uh, y you need a password to get in. Enough! You will go out there and find the others. You will bring them back here, and we will steal the elements of harmony so I can destroy Starlight's life like she destroyed mine! Understand? <laughs> the party password is Rutabaga. <laughs> She's still Why don't you fly up to your nest? Oh, that's right. You can't. <laughs> Nobody asked you. I hope you all freeze this winter. They should know that's not for the sign. Hello again, little friend. I think I may be walking in circles. <laughs> oh my! Where did you learn that kind of language? Um, excuse me. Route. I don't know, but I want to. 
Starlight, darling. You're a gloriously bad camper. And coming for me, that is saying a lot. Yes, it is. Wanna break it to Applejack for me? Who's breaking what now? Who are you? Very funny, Applejack. Still me under all this gear. Starlight. Starlight? How about that? Y'all better come with me. It's uh, dangerous out here. Applejack, darling, are you all right? You look a little peaky. And where's your wagon? Uh, stolen! I, I barely got away. Follow me and I'll tell you all about it. Still take them like this Christmas, ain't she? Ain't she? The high was nowhere near. Why would I waste my time on a boring, lame, no fun retreat? What? Rainbow Dash, I think something's wrong with Pinky. Not my problem. Uh. Now we all grew super long names with all kinds of colors, and your castle grew out of the ground, and everybody was like, "Whoa!" And then we sang the song about rainbows and just <laughs> I'm shy. Trying to do your bidding, your majesty. Grub sitting you six is nothing like controlling my hive. Give me one good reason why I shouldn't just destroy you all and start over. Because I know where the elements of harmony are. You need me. <laughs> <sighs> well, okay, so what is this gonna do? I want? Well, do you just keep it in the wagon? Oh, wait, what should we tell you? I'm guessing some kind of curse? Maybe poison joke? Well, something sure ain't right. What are you plotting back there? I can hear you, you know. Don't think you're going to steal my things! Hang on! I got a shovel we can use to whack those vines out of the way. I knew it! I knew you wanted it all for yourselves! You can't have it! It's mine, you hear me? Oh, no! <laughs> <laughs> okay, this is real life, but that's not Just me and a, a bucket of honey. Yeah, yeah, that's a ticket. But I, I don't even know what to say. I found myself in this here forest for a uh, hundred and twenty-seven hours. Really? I can't believe you've never told us that story before. She's making a point. We get it. You're the greatest camper in the history of Equestria. Well, I sure don't need any of that silly stuff you're lugging around. And the things you gave me are silly? Just look in a mirror. Guess I should have told you that before, huh? <laughs> <gasps> Glad I was so entertaining for you. Okay, should you realize by now something's wrong? That she doesn't break a hoof out there, and then you and I are going to have a serious talk. Finally! There, that's all of you. No pony leaves without my say so. Now, wait a second. Weren't you just. <laughs> the time for my revenge on Starlight Glimmer has come! See if you're telling the truth about this tree. <laughs> I 
easier to edit. Okay. Oh god. And you shouldn't know this difference in appearances and behavior. But instead, I got carried away with plans and ruined everything. If you want to forget it all and head home, I won't be offended. I just want us to stop fighting. Hey, sorry if I got carried away with all that camping stuff. I'm sorry too. I should have just told you I'll never like camping. Also, I'll never like camping. Well, if we're all being honest. I can't survive with just this tiny, fashionable little saddlebag. I miss my things! I'm sorry that you thought that I thought your plan was lame. Your plans are the most ugly! So, is this just because I am with the mean shades getting the element? We're all together, even if it's learning, pretending to be fun. So... Are they gonna take over the, the old tasso? Yes! If every pony likes me again... <laughs> There was that from now I saw. I have the whole campsite set up and ready. Ugh, what's this garbage? Badger installation art. You see, just retrieve the elements. <laughs> If this was in this episode, if this toad was in this episode, can tell us what to do. Just follow my lead. Got it? <laughs> oh, they did put him back. That was mine. Oops, I'd say sorry, but I'm not. Stop it, fools. Oh, yeah. We need the elements to take out Chrysalis. How dare you! I created you! Okay... 20 elements evil. Oh dear! That's what you want to Tamper. Eh, don't push it. <laughs> <laughs> you know, if we can survive a day like this, I think our friendship is strong enough to handle anything the world can throw at us. And then there's Christmas. Okay. 
Okay, that is interesting. So, three questions. Will they ever find out about those doppelgangers? Or will this just be a, you know, a story they will never ever know? And the Free of Harmony. The elements were turning dark for a moment. But instead of, you know, giving power, the free actually says, wrap the round the, the mean says, and basically killed them. Huh. Hmm. I wonder. Will they be back? And did they really affect the elements? To where when they are using it and something bad's gonna happen? I guess they were turning dark maybe because they was was resetting them? Or are they being interrupted? And that double dinner of father seem to be more powerful than Trisha is. Which is not surprising because if you remember, her power turns from feeding off of love. Which she hasn't done in probably a long while. So like to it, she's probably getting weak. Hmm. I like this. I really hope those Mean says I'm bad. But, I'm gonna step away for a moment, get my thoughts, and we watch the episode again. So, be back in just a second. Should we destroy it? Should have been in this episode. I. <laughs> oh well. This was will be bad. <sighs> so. I really cannot wait to see where this goes next. Hey guys, and I'm back with my after fights. <laughs> so, where to begin on this episode? Force... <laughs> okay, this was just a good episode. Yeah, there's aspects of it that we wish we could have seen more out of. But, it was still a fun episode, and... Wow, this could easily have been a part one to, a, you know, the Vermeer or the season finale. But no, it's a one part day. But will the next episode pick up after it? I'm sure somebody don't have to find those colorful films that this was, you know, to them with her. <laughs> it's odd. The main six might never know that Trishwitz and evil doppelgangers were within, well, it was shot of them, basically. I mean, that would be terrifying if you find out about that. I mean, that's, that's like telling Trishwitz Shambla has been worrying about the same area. She would be on high note after that. I thought Sam was probably not coming back at this point, but who knows. Ugh. So, the mean shit. Well, they're not the evil town apart from the Tommets. They're more or less the distorted mean shit that we saw from the opener of the season 2. Twilight, however, when she was distorted, she was more depressed and, you know, was just giving up. This evil Twilight is nothing like that. In fact, if Ref alive, she probably could have been more dangerous than even Starlight and Sunset combined. I mean, 
she was just evil, and it made sense. Friday's opposite would not tell about friendship. She would just tell about power in herself. Although the fellow even thought that Dana wanted the others to... I'm pretty sure that friend, that probably should have wanted that, as we saw. <laughs> well, the evil, the mean sets, they just don't seem to get alone. <laughs> now, I wonder, what would it, what would we have seen from the main sets if they saw what was going on there at the Free of Harmony? Would they be in total shot? Would they be face palming? Or will they just immediately bring the axe in? Who knows? But wow, that. I heard that the main shit melting was censored. If that's true, they censored Kelda's dying. So we had a talk in season two. Season three, we saw a pump tell the blew up in millions of pieces, and now, Milton's den censored. Huh. Makes you wonder what they took out. So, it's interesting. What did the Free of Harmony do? I mean, we saw the elements turning black. Were they being corrupted? Were they repelling? You know, were they denying the make the evil? Were they denying the mean shits? I don't know. But what it did to them is only one of two possibilities. Either the free of harmony, A, you know, realized that these were not the main shits, and that they were evil counterparts. They were fate. So it, you know, erased them. The Free of Harmony knew these were not the well main sits, so it took them out of existence, undoing the magic that created them. Or, the Free of Harmony became corrupted, hence the elements turning black, and it just took the mean sits and drain the power out of them. So it either killed the evil, it either killed the mean sets, or it absorbed the mean sets into its very, you know, existence. It deformed them, it absorbed them into its power. Which one happened? I mean, it's definitely going to be, definitely, Sorry for stuttering. It's obvious that the elements are gonna play a role in this season. Season four, they made a big, they made quite a big deal of um, weaving the elements in the free and basically using, you know, that power. But now it seems like they just take the elements out whenever they want, and then immediately put them back. Because at the end of that season, they took the elements out, and apparently they put it back in. So now they can just go to the free whenever they need it, and maybe they don't have to worry about not having the elements no more. <laughs> you know, Pete Pie's showing evil for like the rainbow mane and all. That's why the closest we're gonna get to seeing Rainbow Power for a while. Unless that returns this season. I don't know. But yes. I think that the elements were indeed corrupted. These were not the actual bearers. They probably could not have even wielded the elements. But whatever connection they had to the real main sits. That's what corrupted the elements because what I think is the freeing knew these were not the real main shits, but they were similar enough to where they 
probably could have connected to the elements and the dark nature to, you know, affected them. And the free of harmony just got rid of the problem. Or it is, you know, bring them of their essence. Basically, whatever the whatever these things did to the elements is not is not fit. Whatever they did is still in effect. And I'm sure whenever we get back to the elements, we're gonna see exactly what happened. But essentially there's gonna be some problems with the elements. And I have to wonder Will they follow up on that? I mean, if they were resetting the evil sis, they wouldn't turn black, would they? You, you remember, back in season two, when the main, the main five were distorted, they tried to use the element, but failed. Now, there's two possibilities why they failed. One, Spite was not an element, so they could not use the power because they did not have Rainbow Dash. Spite is not the bearer of her element. So, either that's why they failed, or they failed because they were not themselves. They were unable to connect to the elements because their friendship, they know what I want to tell about. They were not tempting to use them for, you know, peace, for their friendship. They were just doing it because Fred I told them to. Notice that the elements did not turn black. These mean sets are basically the distorted main sets. But when they used the elements, the only thing that happened was they just failed. But when these evil counterparts, you know, were flying to take them, they turned black. So I don't really think it... I think maybe it has something to do with the dark magic that created them. What did Saturday did Twist Switch do? Well, you know what she's been up to. And I have to wonder, when the mean sins were torn into those free bots, did Christmas weave them? Or did she dispose of them? I find it odd that they were turned. Turned it in a way to tell which was which. Hmm. I kind of hope these sets will return, but I kind of doubt it. But there's a lot of potential. Potential, I'm sure fans are doing everything they can to, you know, expand. <laughs> I don't really have evil counterparts at the main sets. And God, I wish I would have died that game depleted. For you need a fan game on your own. It's hard. It's just hard. But, whenever I get to working on that again, I might miss, an, miss any sits. Might not. I don't know. I have to get back to that game and... Yeah, I'm... I don't know. But anyways. Evil... Mean sits aside... The main six, or main seven, I dare tell you, Starlight. Doing tamping. Seriously. Tamping. Without the tuning off Mercedes. They might as well not even return home when they find out. <laughs> Apple Bloom is going to be so upset. She didn't use the meter set too, but it's pretty bummed I'm gonna be the most worried about. She was shown to have an evil expression every now and again. 
Free will, will to an evil. I feel it. <laughs> Anyways, it was a nice idea to go camping. However, they split up. And they encountered the doppelgangers. But never knew it. And I have to agree with what a few said. These characters should know by now when to tell something is wrong. I mean, one of them noticed the, you know, one of them looking paler. They noticed the four looking slightly different. Yet they didn't notice the tree marks being different. They didn't notice they were acting weird. I mean, yeah, they noticed they were acting different, but they assumed it was still them. This show has an inconsistency with something. You know, by this point, it's safe to say that when a pony uses magic, the tether that illuminates the horn is not visible. Take, for example, Misery on Friends of Express. Where do you use magic to close the blinds? Pinky and us did not see the magic. The blinds said shut on their own. It was pure dark. And then, for the entirety of Imperation Manifestation, when Willie turned evil for an episode, they did not notice where these saints in Tudor. Her magic went from blue to green. And yes, but Willie should have been the only one who really took notice of that. But he didn't. Then we get to Dark with a Fire and Willie mentions how she wished that sometimes she was that the magic didn't illuminate. Either they didn't see the magic from the horn or they can't. Either they see where the horn illuminates or they can't. You can't go back and forth. Do they see the magic? Well, let me, let me face that. Do they see the magic or aura or don't they? Does the magic illuminate darkness or doesn't it? This show cannot decide on what can be seen or what can't be seen. And that's really evident here. Yeah, they noticed the different four tutters, but that's all they noticed. They didn't notice the tutti mods. I guess they don't look down there, but seriously. You think... I don't know, you think they wouldn't notice something else? Other than the Earthing Shot Repairer. <sighs> it would have been something if one of them brought up this to it. Mentioning how the others are going to act the way they did when this to it messed with their, you know, minds. I tell you. If any of them would have went into this evil Fluttercide, they would have known right off the bat that it was not Fluttercide. Now that I think about it, I don't think she had a one-in with any of the main seven. She missed Fluttercide by a few seconds, but she never encountered the main seven. I could be wrong, but that's what I, that's what I think. And it does Pinky being Pinky doesn't question why Friday doesn't know about the Free of Harmony. Pinky is the only character they could have gotten away with that. Seriously, she's the only character that would not raise an eyebrow. The element of Masset, the one who should definitely know about the Free, doesn't know about it. The one male who would not even care. <sighs> that was clever. But, seriously, these, these main sets should know by this point in the show's time when something is wrong. But, I guess to understand it could be believable. 
but I just highly doubt it would be. Is that what I said when Twilight started the CMC? She should know the CMC far too well to just assume they would go that low. These main spies should should be the same. They should know better. They should know each other well enough, but they didn't. And they might never know. I tell ya, if they ever time travel, if they ever find out by Christmas or so, don't be for the revelation. But yeah. Any something else? Who was that male twist who is, um, you know, posed as? The main seven were waiting for the top of us to show up. So, did Trish Rich intercept that mayor? If she did, what did she do to her? I mean, unless Trish Rich in the van, you know, get so to meeting up with the Dane? Well, she might have killed a character off to take her place. And that's terrifying. So, yes. Did Chris was over the phone get so this photo shoot? Or did Chris Rich merely intercept a mayor, killed her off, and took her place to take the pictures? That would explain why she was late. Because if you think about it, this mayor, whoever she was, if she was on her way to take photos of Friday and her friends, she would turn, she would turn up, you know, she was just torn up. But if we never see this male again, she might be dead. And wow, that is a dark feeling. If you hear that, it's, um, well, my blood is tears. They might be loud, but I thought I set up a minute before they died here, so deal with it. <laughs> Anyways, I like what was in this episode. I just wish there was a little bit more to it. I would have liked if the main, the main seven were getting close to discovering what was going on. I would have liked that the main the mean sis were not killed off, I would have liked it if they were, you know, they were for the element, befraying Trishoris. Or, I don't know. I would have liked it if they came back, but we'll just have to see what happened to that, those free bots. It was interesting, because they came out from inside of the freeze. So why are they turning the tiny free names? I don't know. Anyways. Anyways, what else? It was just a bit sad to see Fredazai being hated by the animals. I mean, you would, you would think that Fredazai would have been the one to expose her evil doppelganger. And then me is let me explain how. In a minute, my eyes are see. Further side, well, a tiny boy came up to her, needing her help to get back to the nest. So further side and this boy were together for quite a bit. The boy's sibling came upon evil further side, who basically gave her the toad wing. So much so she was insulting the boy when she was climbing up to the nest. You'd think that the other boy, being with further say, you know, for as long as they were, you'd think that would have been blood up. But no, the last time they saw further say, that boy says, 
had some bad language. So the one, so the, a good way to expose the evil tailors was kind of taken away when that boy raised that fetishize. Which you can't really fault because fetishize left, her evil doppelganger showed up and showed him the sibling boy, and then fetishize came back just as her evil town apart and showed it. Well, not really insulted. She said something really terrible to the forest animals. And Fluttershy took the heat for it with her bad timing. <sighs> you think that board would have asked Fluttershy why she was so mean to his sibling? I don't know if it was brother or sister, but yeah. That's one option down the plane. Fluttershy was very, very close to exposing her evil doppelganger if it was not for that one boy having bad language. Dang you, boy, you... <laughs> oh, well. Evil Fluttershy is nice. I don't know why it is. Why isn't evil Fluttershy so awesome? <laughs> it makes you wonder what evil doppelganger in the comments what she would be like because there are evil doppelgangers in the comments parallel universe and I'm not doing any for it because I have no idea I never read the comments I should know there's a 13 somewhere and if the Thomas are 10 and Celestia is in love with him. Just move on for that. <sighs> I'm wondering what else to say. This was just a fun episode. I might actually do a review on this episode. I don't know, but I do like it. Okay, so, yeah, where are these Dr. Dana? After that, then, Rainbow Dad really should have... <clears throat> these turtles were stupid in this episode. Dead stupid. Okay, not all of them, but the one who's been in his dinner amount of time with the Dr. Danas. Yeah, they should. Oh well, they made up, but wow! If they touch on this again, I don't know. The only way this show can get can get around the evil, the mean shit, the only way the show can avoid bringing them back. Is to have the characters not even mention this episode. I mean, think about it. If one of the main five talks to the other one about, you know, this tamping trip and what was done, what was said, whoever they're talking to would, would say something that contradicts them. For example, if Applesack talks to Rarity about her behavior, Willity to tell her that she did not do such behavior and instead asked Applesat why she was basically lying telling her high tales to her and Starlight who Starlight could back up. That could open the door to them discovering what took place. But while the main but while the, the main sis would come back or not, I don't know. But the characters talking to each other and figuring out what happened is a possibility. But will the show take that possibility? I don't know. Be nice if they, be nice if they did. I mean, continuity is good. But the show is inconsistent with its continuity. Again, the mask around the horn. Can you see it? Can you not see it? Make up your mind. 
<sighs> Anyways, it was nice to see Twistless back. Unfortunately, I know she'll be back. <sighs> I'm not gonna spoil this. No, no, darling. Please, no spoilers. But do not look up her Wikipedia. Uh, they knew Frida. <sighs> Anyways, I'm pretty sure Chris Ridge will be back. I don't know in what form. Will she be the main villain of the finale? See the finale? Who knows? We have hit the sea side to a naysay. So who knows? Who knows? They might ally themselves. It would not surprise me if he did. Anyways, I really don't know what else to say. I like this episode. It was great to see Dwizzlers, and it was brilliant to see these evil counterparts. Man, I hope they come back. They need to come back. Anyways. Even if we don't see him at the end, it was nice to see him. <laughs> so, yes, where are the pillars of a fresh rear? Darfur has this dude that he wanted to see a fresh rear, you know, before he settled down in one place. And the others wanted to see their old homes. The shot in their faces when they see what became of their homes. A thousand years is a long time. A very long time. I kind of hope we can. See, I kind of hope that these pillars and elements of harmony can say some stories with each other. <laughs> Anyways, that's an episode for another time. I hope. I thank you for watching, and if you touch well on this own, I thank you for listening. This episode. Let's see. I already mentioned, you know, what I didn't like. But what would be the drowning achievement? I dare that would just be Christmas coming back. Say what you will. Christmas. Well, let me just say, if Speedy here was canon, he would definitely be helping her out. And no, he would not be brainwashed. I suppose I need to finish that door up, you know, to explain why he would help Chrysalis. But that won't be out for quite a while. It takes a long time to write. Anyways, I thank you for watching, and if I think of anything else, I'll put it down in the description. Just remember one thing. If your friend shows up acting basically If one of your friends shows up, not acting himself, and he is slightly different, you might be dealing with either possession or a die from parallel reality. What you do is up to you, but for the love of God, notice it! <laughs> Anyways, I shall see you, um, well, whenever, when, whenever episode 14 comes out. We have a hiatus, and these are spells in Steven Universe. My god, that so loves hiatuses. As I'll see you next time, and I might have a few videos, you know, here and there. A few reactions I've been wanting to do. Anyways, thank you for listening to my, um, well, voice, I guess. Well, as I'll see you next time. Why do I keep saying that? Because I have OCD. Yes, OCD. <sighs> See if there's one last thing. Well, you don't have to be rude about it. And I'll see you in the next episode. Hey guys, I kind of forgot to mention right for it. The theory of Proceed World being Christmas is debunked.
in fact, hoping the same thing in Calorie. It shouldn't play for young but but a same scene working for Twitch Switch. Yeah, that's it's that is now impossible. Because if Twitch Switch had changings, we would have known about them in this episode. So whatever is up with Toji, it's not same scenes related. Unless he's a same scene that says you know I don't know, but she's not working for Twitch Switch. So what could Toshi do Toshi Dwell be up to? I really want to find out. And hopefully we'll find out together. But until then... <laughs> well... You'll see. Until then, fare you well. You're gonna make a habit of that, aren't you? See you in the next video.